Yo, Zalma subscribers, welcome back to the channel Eversleep Media. It's all about it's been a while. I'm back right now. It's all about I'm building a brand new sound system. Yeah, so you don't know it's all about 2024. It's all about something new. So it's all about a brand new sound system from scratch. Stick and stay on the channel to see what's gonna happen. Right now, I'm building two fourth order band pass box. Yeah, fourth order band pass subwoofer box 18 inch. Stick and stay. Yo, man, I write us some reach, you know, write us some reach. Let me see if it's a, if it go sound good. Yes, man. How them look? Man, check it out. Audio pipe. So bad. 18 name of the people. This is how the on and the twin tweeter line is going to look in the front of the box here. Yeah, my viewers and my subscribers, you don't know. It's all about on the workbench here. Yeah? You don't know. This is a homemade workbench. As you can see, it have a saw, circular saw, it's a circular saw, you know what I mean? Yeah, all right. As you can see, I have a sheet of plywood here. So you don't know, it's all about Everslick Media. It's been a while since I've put up any new video. But right about now, I'm building two subwoofer box, yeah? The fourth band pass, the fourth order band pass subwoofer box, 18 inch. As you can see, you know, when you buy a speaker, you get this inside of the, the box, yeah. Just to show you how to, the size of the hole, to cut the hole for the speaker, yeah. But once you have the speaker, you can do so, you know what I mean? So yes, my viewers and my subscribers, you don't know, it's all about Everslick is here. So stick and stay, you're going to see what's going to happen next. I'm going to do some cutting now, get the board ready to screw up the box. I'm going to build one first and then cut a next sheet of ply to build a next one, all right? Stick and stay, my people. So yes, my family, you don't know, it's all about and me alone upon the, the corner. So you don't know to use the camera and then to do the cutting. So some part of the video is going to miss out, but you will see in the end how the box built, how it sound and everything. <coughs> Sorry. So stick and stay, all right? Do some cutting a while ago, yeah? I have one piece here, next piece here, I need four sides for one box, yeah, so this is the two side, these two here is the back and the front, because the speaker is going to be inside, you're not, you can't see the speaker, a four, a foot other bandpass box, you can't see the speaker, the speaker is going to be in the middle of the box there's a partition in the middle one side is going to be a seal ported one side going to be of the port yeah where the speaker magnet is going to put out to so you're going to see what's going on my people yeah man just stick yes i it's all about the sewing of the base box you never hear them say them sew the box yeah what that mean you're, you're going to keep the screw them very near yeah, so you're gonna sew the, the bass box because you don't want the bass speaker to open it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, and the glow is gonna pull. Alright, so yeah, man. As you can see, me draw out the speaker on the side of the box. Yeah, you can be able to see it. Yeah, two pencil and draw the speaker out. It's gonna look inside the box. Yeah, the magnet is going to turn down to the, the part with the port. Yeah, up here is gonna be a seal. Yeah. So right now, it's all about cutting out the wall for the speaker. Yeah, but the the, the, the the board that the speaker is gonna screw on to, it's gonna double. So I'm gonna double it with this piece of board here. Yeah. You can see people. Then I go unbox the 18. Show you guys how the 18 look. There's two of them. So you guys will see what's going on. Yeah man, slick media. And as you can see my people, the speaker is audio pipe, 18 inch. Yeah man, it is for outdoor, not vehicle speaker. It is outdoor. So I'll show you guys what, what, um, what is going on with the speaker, alright? 
reaching somewhere, you know what I mean? Yeah, as you can see, three sides is on. I've decided to go on on the bottom and the top, but first I have to deal with the put, the, the port. Yeah, the port, yeah, the port is gonna be right in the middle here. Yeah, so you're gonna, there's a piece of board going to go right here. Yeah, so the here is gonna go here and go back out to go back out, but a piece of mesh is gonna be here. So you're gonna see a piece of mesh on the outside through the port. Yeah, because I don't want nothing to crawl inside of the box. You understand? Yes, so this piece of mesh here, I'm gonna rub it down, get some double D 40, clean it down, and then get some the rust remover put on it then install it into the box, you know what I mean? So it can be paint after. All right, stick and stay for me. Yeah man, here, here. Go measure the box. Cause you can do something, you can do something. You, 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 you think I chicken me a jerk? I work, me I work. Hey, hey, hey. You can't do nothing but you just back on me so just underneath my foot bottom. Yeah man, this is the view of the box. You know what I mean? This is the front of the box, so. You're gonna see the magnet of the speaker down here. Yeah. But you're gonna look through the mesh. Mesh is gonna be here. Alright? So here is the port. You're not gonna see the magnet of the speaker because the piece of board is gonna be here. So you're not gonna see the magnet of the speaker. But here is the port. Here is a seal compartment. As you can see, it is a 18 inch yeah, woofer. Yeah? This is a fourth harder. Um band pass box. Yeah, fourth order band pass. See? So, you need to put on the top, the bottom, and here. But the speaker is gonna install from the top. Alright? And then screw up. See? Stick and stay, my people. Looking good, looking good, looking good, my viewers. Looking good, my viewers. Yeah? When the box is finished, you're not, you're not gonna see nothing like this. You know what I mean? Yeah? Yeah, man. The fourth order band pass subwoofer box. Yeah, it's an 18 inch going drop inside this one. So, wait, man. Pass me off the test it tonight, you know. It's all about a test. Me off the test it tonight. Else, we now go sleep. Just hold on, brother. This is how it's going to look. This is how it's going to look. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just the port you're going to see in the front. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a port order. Band pass. Yeah, base box. All right. So it's all about time to try it. Yeah. So stick and stay, my people. Yeah, if it sound good or if it, it does sound good, if it sound good, maybe the next one. It's all about me, a creator designer. You know. Yeah, me the create the, the, the um, design. Yeah. As as you can see, you can look down into the bottom of the box, but you can't see the speaker because this piece of board got it here. Yeah. So the hair is gonna come out here. So. Up here is a seal port where the heating is gonna be. The heating is gonna mount from the top. Yeah? So you don't know. Well, gonna try to see if it works. If it don't work, pull it up and build the next one. It's all about I am a creator, a designer, and a decorator when it comes to anything at all. See? Yeah man, ever slick. Ever slick media. I'm out. Uh, you are going on me turn the box upside down. So I'm showing you the bottom of the box. All right. So as you can see, the box is gonna breathe from here. So this is the port. Put a piece of piece of board here because the magnet of the speaker is gonna be down here. You understand? Yeah. So I put a piece of board here to back it, that's no one can see through the mesh. So it's gonna breathe from here and go through that port wall. All right. The top is going to seal. It's going to be a seal compartment up the top when the speaker go in, and I close the top. Yeah, it turned upside down. Yeah, man, you don't look too bad. You don't look too bad, my viewers. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's all about ever slick, you know. Always slick. That is the reason why I get this name. Ever slick. Because I'm always slick, all right? See, big up on yourself. Yeah, man, I write here so I reach, you know. Right here so I reach. Yeah, this is the door for the speaker go through. After the speaker go through. Yeah. Screw up the speaker down there. Let me. Let uh, uh, me see if it's, uh, uh, if it's going to sound good. 
Yes, man. Yeah, man. It's like a sound good. We are in Tessie Bass. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yes, my people. All right, watch her now. Yeah. <laughs> see that? See that, my people? Yeah. Yeah, man. I eat that. Yes, my people, finish two base box. Yeah, two base box finish up and running. Yeah, never have the time to do the video because you don't know it's me alone and kind of difficult to hold the camera and in the meanwhile using the drill, using the screws and all so forth. Yeah, well, listen up. Right now, I'm making a mid box. Supposed to make four mid box, but don't have enough ply yet to make the four of them. So, I only can make one now. Yeah, so finish two base box. No, I'm on a mid box. So as you can see, my mid box, yeah. My mid box, I'm gonna make the box where the on and the tweeter gonna wall. Gonna fit in the box with the 215. I'm gonna use 215 inside here. This box is gonna be a small box, but it's gonna be huge. You know what I mean? It's gonna have 115 inch here and next 15 inch here. And also two on and two tweeter is gonna be inside here. So as you can see the depth. Yeah. As you can see the depth. The, the length here is 18 across. Yeah, the depth is very deep because the 15 is gonna be way back here. This 15 is gonna play low mid, this is gonna play high mid, play high mid. So you know it's gonna be way in the back of the box. So this is where the on funnel and the driver is gonna come in. Yeah, it's gonna come in play right in front the, the 15 speaker. Yeah. So this this on is gonna be right here. Yeah. And as you can see, there's a whole part here for the, the 15 inch to play to breed from. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then up here, it's gonna be two tweeter up here in the middle, same way. All right, so stick and stay to the channel. You will see what's going on, yeah? You don't know it's all about Ever Slick Media. New sound, yeah, coming out very soon. So if you watch this video, stick and stay for part two because you don't know it's all about. It continues, all right? Stick and stay, my people. This is the front of the mid box. Yeah, 215 is going to be in there. Two on, two Twitter. Yeah, so this is the hole for the two 15 it's gonna be a partition in the middle check this out that is a partition yeah the reason why I build it like this I need the horn and the tweeter to go inside here yeah so yeah man that's it so this is gonna play a hard low mid yeah so need the ear wall you know yeah that's it can breed properly here is gonna be the high mid. No, don't want no no port on that. Yeah, so that's it. So I'm gonna screw it up now. Screw in that middle section there. Yeah, I'm gonna sew it across here. Then screw it right around the box. Yeah, man. You soon see it, my people. Small pan running. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna hand box. The 218 to put into the 218 box. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys that. Have the hand and tweeter, hand driver, funnel, everything to hand box. Same way. Yeah, to put inside this box. So you don't know me people. The 15, no, don't get them in box. So you don't know. It's all about I'm gonna install them just like that. Yeah. So this 15 here, it's gonna play a hard low mid. And I like to hear when bass is coming out of my low mid because listen. You're playing a sound and you cut your bass. You don't hear no bass at all. What the people is gonna move to? You know what I mean? You're gonna mix in a song and you cut your bass. You're supposed to hear that 15 inch bass playing. See me because you need to rock. And when you're pumping back those 18, you're supposed to hear that 18 bass totally differently. It's all about Pacific Media. Check out the channel with viewers. You know what I mean? Stick and stay to see what's coming next. Yeah man, we did a plan to not put no hole, no put hole in the, the eye mid. But yeah man, you know, so I put up a video for my status and a DJ just called me and said, Yo, 
Yeah man, put some pot holes see me, some pot holes see me up in the eye mid. Yeah, it will sound better. Yeah man, ZJ Bingy, big up yourself. So see there, we we'll just put some round wall to show say yes, that's what I mid. Yeah man, down at the bottom is a low mid. It have a partition, yeah? So you don't know, that go sound good, that go sound good, that go sound good, see? Yes, my viewers, how it look? Yeah, the back no go on it. I like when I install my speaker them from front of the box. I don't like when I have to pull off the back of the box. Each time you pull off the back of the box, the box loses power, you know what I mean? So, I love when I install my speaker from the front of the box. So that is the reason why, yeah, I build it this way. So yeah, this is how it look. The on and tweeter is going to be right in, right in here. Let me show you something. So, that is the reason why I don't buy the long funnel. Yeah? When the driver go on it, it's going to be, this one is going to be right here. Yeah, this one is going to be right here. Yeah? And then, the smaller one is going to be up here. Or I can carry this one down here. And then carry the next one here, the two tweeters up here. Yeah, there's a piece of board going to be on the front with all of them, the hand and the tweeter. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. A fashion of a style. I don't know it's all about if I sleep in here. See? Right, that's right there. So watch this now, my people. Notice here is very straight. Alright, this when I finish with the box, I'm gonna go on the table saw. I'm gonna put the saw on 45 cut. Yeah? 45 cut, then I'm gonna put the box on it, and the box is gonna cut off this 45. Right here, the box is going the, the, the saw is gonna, I'm gonna push it on the saw and cut it off 45. I'm gonna do the same with here, 45. So when we finish, it, it, it's gonna have a 50 cent shape right here and right here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that is all about the box. Yeah, man. Stick and stay. Yes, my viewers. All right, the box itself finished now. So the only thing we have leave to make is the front piece where the arm and the tweeter is going to go into. I'm gonna show you what's, what is going on. It is gonna be a broader piece of board, broader than this. It's gonna be right here in the front. Yeah, so the tweeter, two tweeter at the top, and two on at the bottom into it. Yeah, about the same length. Yeah, so when it finished with people, you know, I go see it. Yeah, kind of late now, so I cut off. And remember the edges, put it on the saw, 45 it. Yeah, and cut it off, round it up. Yeah, the top. Yeah, yes, I don't know if I'm gonna mesh the front of it, but this is it. When the two speaker go in, the two on go in, the two tweeter, wow, it's gonna be like, don't want to tell you, man, trust me. Don't know how I'm gonna play it yet. If I'm going to play it, tweeter single, on single, I mid single, low mid single. Like different channel for each one, don't know yet. So, stick and stay on the channel and you will see what's coming next. All right, have your eyes, how it look? Look nice, don't it? Yeah, man. Looking beautiful. Looking beautiful, my people. Yeah. The, the reason why I build it this way because I need a strong mid. I need a strong mid. Yeah, when I said a strong mid, I need a strong mid. So I'm going to use a four channel amplifier to play on and tweeter. Because I don't play in mono, stereo, all the way is for me stereo. So when it comes to Twitter, two different channels, stereo. On, two different channels, stereo. Low mid, high mid, two different channels. That's me. Yeah, so right about now, I have a 2000 watt amplifier. Because I'm not thinking about the bass as yet, I'm thinking about the mid 
especially the low mid. I want the, no, the, the low mid to knock. You know what I mean? To knock. So that is the reason why I have an expander gate at the end of my preamp and the start of my preamp. I have a, 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 a expander limiter. I have a limiter there. So I can't turn the master no more to get more volume. Only the volume what, what I give the limiter to work with. That's it. Yeah. So on the end of all preamp to go to all amplifiers, I'm going to have an expander gate on every one. So when the music stops, everything is silent. You know, the sound is, trust me. Just continue watching the channel and you, and you will see what, what's going on with this sound here. Alright? Stick and stay me people. This is how the on and the twi tweeter line is going to look in the front of the box here. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm going to cut out all these holes, yeah, to fit them in. And then I'm going to spear it the nearest I can, you know, so that when I put it in front here, it gives the 15 ear to breathe also when playing. You know what I mean? Stick and stay. We'll see what's coming next. Yeah man, fashion over style my people. This is the piece of rail that's gonna be in front of the, the box, in front of the 215. So here is gonna be one of the on, here is the next on, tweeter, tweeter. So it's gonna be like this into the box. Yeah? Yeah man, real. How them look? How them look my people? Two base box, how them look? How them look? One have in speaker, one don't have in any. So I'm gonna install the speaker now. I'm gonna in back, unbox the 18, let you guys see. Yeah, it's a 1400 watt, 18 inch. Yeah, how them look? They look nice, don't it? Yeah, man, one of a kind. I don't want nothing on my sound to look like no other sound, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's all about creativity. Ever slick media. Stick and stay for me. Yeah, this is the 215 that going to go into the box here. Yes, yeah, so we don't know. This is a 800 watt. Uh, that don't say the wattage. But yeah, that is gonna play high mid. This one is going to play low mid. So yes my people. So the thing set up. Everything is here, so I'm gonna do some installing here right now to fit up this box to test it out make sure it's good to go yeah in the meanwhile i don't know I'm gonna hand box the 80 you now for those for, for, for one of that box out there yeah one of the base box one don't have any speaker so right now i'm gonna do the unboxing of the 18 inch speaker 1400 watts see stick and stay for me so yeah man go for the speaker you know yeah yes i I sleep with them, you know. Yeah, man, I'm leave out them. I sleep with them right around. Right through the whole time. These are some hand drivers. Yeah. Don't want them. Don't want them to go on any high seats, you know. Alright. Put them on this one over here. Ah! These 18 so heavy. Yeah. Alright, maybe it was. Unboxing. I can wear the one and see can get the three out of your place. Alright? This is the piece of paper I then put inside. You can cut it out. Then mark it out on this piece of cardboard to get a stiffer template to mark out the wall. Yeah. Check it out. It's all about audio pipe. Yeah man, you never know see audio pipe make an outdoor speaker. Yeah man, audio pipe. Really? Check it out. Are the pipes so bad? 18 them not my people. Yeah. Ah. My God. Ah. Ah. Yes, my people. See that? 1400 watt. Yeah. 18 shit ones. Yeah, man. Are the pipe? NWA18110 slash 8. Yeah, man. See there? Mm. 
one inside the other box out there yeah so right now this one is going to go into the next box stick and steal the people can I know. unboxing the PRV on driver yeah nice on driver them enemy people yeah man the best them load like anything yeah and them weighted them full of weight yeah yeah man d27 d270 ph slash s eight ohms yeah man 75 watt rpm rms that is the the right wattage the rms yes 150 watt program power yeah 300 watt peak yes my people prv them load me love them yeah and the weight of it, it is very weighted yeah man trust me my people i got install them right now inside here yeah they get stickers inside the box prv audio hey brazil yeah yeah man them looking good them sound good see the diagram here see the 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 the, 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 the thing here for the hand driver the spec everything is here yeah yes me people see there incredible yeah wonderful beautiful this is it this is the design yeah all right as you can see you still can see the 15 yeah yeah man so you don't know you're still gonna hear them loud and clear same way yeah man yeah man like the new style this you know yeah man so you don't know the box don't big and tall yeah but yeah everything is inside here two tweeter two on two 15 inch you yeah, have two 18 down here one of them is 1400 watt trust me it's all about time to try it it's, it's all about trial right now you know it's all about trial yes my people it's all about trial so just stick and stay after everything paint up and thing yeah you're gonna see the difference you know what i mean yeah stick and stay my people i want to play two tune but can't play two tune because i'm afraid of copyright don't have the tune them the copyright tune you know I'm supposed to play one half copyright. Yeah. Yeah, don't want to get no copyright for that video. So I'm not going to play no song. But yeah, how it look. So I need one more tapping box like that one on the other side. Yeah. To match up with that, trust me. One box it load me, I tell you, brother. Yeah, the bass nice and I need it same way. But you don't know. Yeah, one at a time, <clears throat> get some song when I have copyright for play. As you guys can listen and hear the quality, yeah. Yeah, man. Sounding good, me, I tell you. All right, I'm going to give you a, a sneak preview of what I have string up. Just two little something. All right. All right, me have a deck. Me have a tape deck over there, so I right, run the Bluetooth. But as you can see here, yeah, I have a drive rack, a equalizer, and I have a Behringer compressor. This is a 700 watt QSC. I have a 1500 watt here. Yeah, so. Don't know if I'm going to use the, these QSC and the sound because I want to go mobile. You know what I mean? I want, if, if JPS is not running, I can play my sound still just hook up on a vehicle with the engine chuckling, you know, and I can play same way. So I'm, I want to go mobile, you know, where I use battery and car power you know car on fire yeah all right i know my viewers yeah i'm trying to trying to um tune up this this um drive rock trust me my viewers drive rock nice yeah it nice it have compressor and limiter you know yeah let me show you what's going on yeah Yeah, man, it have everything on it, with people. You have to just know how to tune it up. It have an equalizer also, yeah. 
where you can tune the sub, the output, any way you want it. Nice, yeah, man. Nice, me I tell you, it play nice and smooth. But right now, can't play any song right now because I don't have the song without copyright <coughs> here in the system. You understand? But otherwise, yeah, all right, I have. A, a compressor limiter this is a compressor limiter for channel so i need an expander gate right now because the expander gate supposed to be right here yeah the expander gate supposed to be right here for channel so after the after this it go to the amplifier yeah so if i stop playing music it soon must be silent so i'm gonna set the expander gate yeah and that expander gate mm -hmm. i'm gonna set it so that when the sound mu music stop, everything just quiet. The gate closed. No audio is not going on. This is a limiter, compressor limiter. So I'm gonna use it after the Mackie board. Yeah, then go to the drive rack. This is a limiter. You know, most of the time you get an ex DJ and a sound, and they try to turn up the music all the way up. Yeah, when you have on this, they can't. Peak limit. Peak limiter, yeah. This is the peak limiter. If you turn it here, right out here, yeah, it's not working. But carry it back around here or right back around here, it doesn't matter how you turn up on the mixer board, it's not gonna turn, go any further, yeah. Anytime you want more volume, you have to come here to get more volume, yeah. The output gain, yeah. So, this is the limiter, compressor limiter. So, it compress the song. And it limited to 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 certain limit which part you can't turn it up no more. So if you have the master at five playing really easy and you want to go loud and you're pushing up the master, no matter how you push up the master, it now go play corroded. It it will just play clear same way, not going any louder because you have a limiter. So I need a limiter up front and down to the last end to the amplifiers. I need an expander gate so that when I stop the music all gate closed no audio out so the sound is gonna be very quiet you, you, you never hear sound playing and you hear mm, yeah that, that is not gonna come from this little sound here and um as i said before my speaker box them make different yeah there's no other sound of any box like these so just like how I make these boxes different, I'm gonna make the rack, the amplifier rack, different. Yeah. Everything is gonna different on this song. I don't know, it's all about Eversleep Media. See? This is all the information for the speaker. As you can see, yeah, this is all the information. It is 700 watt RMS. Yeah. Yeah man, the RMS is 700. Yeah. But the maximum peak is 1400 watt. Alright. 8 ohms, as you can see here. Yeah, the magnet is 100 ohms magnet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes, my viewers. I don't know what it's all about. Stick to the channel to, to see what's coming next. Alright. There's a lot of video going to come out on this channel right about now and don't forget to link up with my next two channel jamaican farmers out it's all about farming and i have the laughing channel where you laugh your worries away it's all about laugh and relationship tv do you hear that laugh and relationship tv all right check it out yeah man you laugh until you cry saying big up on yourself name is ever slick and i'm gonna be out for now blessings